What is good, Council of Comics? Welcome to another edition of Comic Book Pickups. This is episode number 41. We recently went out to Static Rabbit Inc. at one of the halls. Actually, it was not recent. I lied. This was a long time ago. I'm just now getting to this hall. This happened at an event at Alterniverse, and we got 31 books for $22. That's about 71 cents a book. We will find out the total value. We will find out the profit. All right, let's go. Where are the heroes? Soon as they get here, everything will be alright. I need a hero. Someone so real, who can come and save my life. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Comic Book Pickups. Uh, before we start, please hit that like and subscribe button on our road to 1,000 subscribers. We want to thank everybody for watching. Our watch time has shot up. Um, our subscribers are going up, and we're very, very thankful for that. All right, let's get into this. This is from Stat Ra Static Rabbit Inc. It's my boy right there. Got a lot of books here for $22. All right, first one we got up here is the Max, number five. This was an image book from back in the days from Keith. Um, pretty, pretty dope like artwork in here. Like, I'll even take out the first one. Um, so they were printed on the good paper, like boom. That's not the first page. There's the first page. And then, boom, splash page, pretty dope. Very dope. Um, his art was great. Great, still is. This was his independent character, the Max. The Max also had an animated show. And there are rumors now that the Max is gonna get a live action show. So let's see if there's any more big splash pages for the Max. No, no. There we go. That's classic Max right there. Those kind of. Right. Very nice, very nice. Put it back in the bag, tape it, and go. And we also got the Max number three. It's a dope cover right there. It's a five dollar book. Remember, we paid 71 cents for these books. Very dope, very dope, Keith. Next up, we have the West Coast Avengers number three from the ongoing series, not the limited series that came before it. This is from the ongoing series after. This is a $5 book from 1985. It's dope Milgram Sonat cover. We had the pleasure of interviewing some of the Sonat family. Check that out in the playlist and the interviews. Very, very dope Tigra, Craven, and Hawkeye, and I forget her name. Is it Moon something? No, I can't remember. Next up, Daredevil number 276. Uh, this is a $5 book, uh, dope JRJR book. You know, we have a lot of contention in the shop about what we think about JRJR, and I always think he's a legend because he got the job done. A dope Daredevil and Ultron right there. JRJR, very nice, $5 book. We also got Daredevil number 222. I just love books like that with numbers that like that 222, 111, 444, and also like the 100, the 25, 75, those kind of milestones. This is a $5 book from 1985. The Swamp Holds Many Horrors. Classic right there. You wanna look inside? Let's look inside a 1985 book from Daredevil. All right, so we got it on the regular paper, right? Oh. Woo, that, not bad art though. Very, very dope. This is David Mazzuccelli. David Mazzuccelli. Okay, David Mazzuccelli, you're not, you're not too bad. Oh, Matt Murdock over there, huh? Let me see if we got any. These older books weren't really known for their like splash pages. They were more known for their quick stuff. Um, like, you know, that's pretty cool right there. Um, come on, give me something in here. Oh, look at the ad from Mile High Comics. 
when you had to send them letters and they send you back books. Maybe the last page? Jeez, there were absolutely no splash pages. Nope. But that's a $5 book from 1985. I'll take it, number 222. Next up, Black Panther number eight. This is only a $3 book, but it's a dope cover. That cover is phenomenal. Very, very dope. $3 book for 2016. Next up, I got a whole bunch of spectacles. This was the beauty about uh, what I got from Static Rabbit Inc. They had a whole like run of these spectacular Spider-Man and I grabbed a mad spectacular Spider-Man. All right, so we got 173. This is a $5 book. Dr. Octopus. This is Sal Buscema art. I consider Sal Buscema one of the greats. I honestly do. He did a great Spider-Man. So Doc Ock. Uh, 174 with Doc Ock. Still Bushema. Very, very dope. Uh, 175. Still battling that Doc. This is a $3 book. Very dope. That's not like a Terminator eye right there. It's from the camera. <laughs> I gotta remind myself that I gotta put tape over it. So it's not a Terminator. It's not a Terminator. Issue number 176, also a newsstand, $7 key, first appearance of Corona. Look at that newsy. Nothing like a good old newsstand, eh? More Bushema. Next up, 177, it's $3 book. Still Bushema rocking it hard. Uh, 178, this is the first appearance of Dr. Ashley Kafka. This is a $15 book. Last sale on this. Bushema. Got a little vermin in there. Well, gotta show the classic. That's classic right there. Cool. Next up, um, number 179. It's a $5 book from 1991. Is it still Bushema? Uh, don't see. I would think it is. I would think it is. Next up, 180. Bushema. Dope Green Goblin. This is a $7 book. You'll find that books like with older Green Goblins, they'll be worth a little bit more. This is a dope cover from Bushema. Uh, 181 with Green Goblin in the background. Web Slinger vs. Green Goblin. The prize, Spider Man Sanity. No! Very dope. Yeah, that's dope. Boom. $5 book. 182. No, Fighting the vermin. Got the Green Goblin out there. Very nice. 183. So we got all the parts of the child within. It's a $3 book. Very nice. Very nice. And then 184. I can hear what you're saying. I hear what you're saying. Show us some of that Bushema on the inside. All right, I got you. You wanna see some Bushema? I'm gonna show you some Bushema. All right, let me make sure it's Bushema. It is, all right, boom. Let's go. Splash page, Bushema, that's what I'm talking about. Nice little Spidey there. I liked his Spidey because it was kind of a mix of like Larson and Bagley. It's pretty dope. Um, what else we got? Dope close-up shots right there. Nice shadowing. A little green goblin right there. Um, that's nice. Little Robbie Robertson streaming, dude. Okay, and then, you know, it's a classic shot right there. It's Bushema. Bushema does a nice Spider-Man. It's a very nice Spider-Man. Oh, 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 the hot stuff. When they was married, the good times. The good times. And then, of course, you know, afterwards you gotta kiss her. Because he's gotta be Spider-Man. Swinging, and then the splash page. Frogman! The gift of life. <laughs> so that was pretty. It's pretty, pretty fun. Uh, tape. Here's a tip too, when you're bag and boarding your books, 
Don't get this clear tape. It's all I had, that's why I had to use it. Get uh, masking tape, painter's tape. Save yourself a lot of trouble. Um, Spectacular Spider-Man, number 185. More Buscema with the Frogman. You probably recognize this book from one of the skits. This is a better copy of that. I beat the crap out of the other one, but uh, very funny. Uh, 186, three dollar book. Now we're getting into the Vulture. Very nice. 187, it's a five dollar book. Very nice. And 188, Last of the Spectacular spider man Very very dope. So we actually got two storylines. We got the funeral arrangement storyline out of that, and we got uh, Child Within. So very 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 dope uh, dun, 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 dun. next up Marvel Tales featuring Spider-Man number 258 newsstand shatters dope covers it's only a $3 book but we love that newsstand oh my stomach just grumbled I wonder if the mic picked that up um, the mighty Thor 459 this is a $7 book who shall hold this hammer the Thors are battling it out who will win Here's a nice little goodie that I found. Um, first appearance of Dove, Dawn Granger, but this is Liefeld's first comic art with DC. I'm gonna say with DC, I'm not gonna say overall, I'm gonna say with DC, and then that's one of his early works. Seven dollar book from LaFell. Good old LaFell. You wanna see how LaFell drew in the beginning? <laughs> I'll show you how LaFell drew. Um, it's a lot better than it was than it is now. I don't know why that is, but maybe it's all the new technology. But yeah, doing it very dope. Yeah, look at it. smooth, clean. Look how clean that is. Look how clean that is. Look at this. Where's this LaFell? Where's this LaFell? Look. At Oh my goodness, classic. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Did it give us any more? Super shot, man, that's dope. That's dope, oh, expression. Uh, Ooh, classic LaFell, what was to come? Classic LaFell. Alright, that's one of LaFell's earliest ones. Maybe his first one. Don't know. Next up, Incredible Hulk, number 25. This is a $10 book. You know who it is. You know who it is. It's JR, JR. It's a dope Hulk on Abomination covers. $10 book from 2001. Very dope. Very dope. Then, next up, we have Iron Man number 226. This is a $10 book from 1988 because this is part two of Armor Wars. Yes, part two of Armor Wars. I was happy to get this because I recently just got part one. Trying to get them all. Um, but there was to be a Disney show of Armor Wars, but I guess that's not happening now. But the story, the original storyline was very, very dope. Tony Stark's armor got stolen and he just had to get it back. Next up, G.I. Joe and the Transformers number two. This is a $10 book. Uh, it's a four issue series. Uh, these are hot right now because G.I. Joe and the Transformers uh, actually got this before the announcement, way before the announcement. And uh, it's probably worth more than $10 now, but great condition too. Um, you want to see a little G.I. Joe and Transformers? I'll show you a little G.I. Joe and Transformers. Alright. You got Snake Eyes and Bumblebee. Um, boom. Out the box. Okay. I mean, they put okay art in these books. They weren't the greatest of art. It's more nostalgic than anything. Trying to look for some mail. Oh, they got Sergeant Slaughter in there. Huh? Look at that. All right. And you got the Cobras. Pentor. Is that Megatron? Is Megatron up there? Shockwave. 
Um, let me just look at some, some dope art. Let's look at some dope art, man. A lot of story right here. Give me some art, bro. Um, okay. Close up of Serpentorus, okay. Uh, nah. Are they gonna give me something? No, they didn't give me anything. Ah. That's probably why they didn't sell that well back in the days, but are super hot now. Uh, okay, so that's a ten dollar book right there. Next up, Spider Boy number one. First Spider Boy, no matter how you say it. Uh, it's a twelve dollar book. It stayed around ten, twelve dollars. Um, it's from Amalgam. It's when Marvel and DC joined together to do some uh, short stories of mixed characters. So this was Robin and Spider-Man. So yeah, I won't get too much into this, but that's a $12 book. Next up, Astonishing X-Men number nine. It's a $15 book. It's a newsstand. It's the first appearance of Danger, the sentient Danger Room. It's a dope cover right there. Dope, dope cover. $15 book, not bad, right? Especially when you pay 75 cents for them. And last but definitely not least, I found a Batman 608. First Jim Lee Batman, $15. Incredible. Jim Lee is, thank you guys, I tell you guys all the time, Jim Lee's the best. You're not beating Jim Lee. His run on Batman was incredible. Incredible. Um, yeah, I'll show you what it was. I'll show you, because I know he's got a couple splash pages in here. It's on the good paper, too. Boom. Look at that. Woo! Look at that, my friend. Hush. Jim Lee's the best. Um, let's see if I find another splash. Oh, look at Cro Killer Croc. Nice. Nice. Any more of them? I know he's got another one in him. Jim's always got another one in him. Let's see. Oh, dope. Catwoman and Batman together. Dope. Um, that's a dope Batman as well. Dope Catwoman. Um, splash page of The Sims. Hey. Um, nice. Oh, Batman Fallen. Nice. Catwoman. Jim is the best, bro. <laughs> and, ah, of course, it's Jim Lee. Look at that. Poison Ivy and Catwoman. That's just dope. That's so dope. All right, so I'm going to get the numbers all together, and I will be right back. All right, guys, so we're back with the numbers. Remember, we got Static Rabbit Inc. Let me get that in focus right there. We paid $22 for 31 books. It's about 71 cents each. The total value is $195, my friend. $195. That's excellent, leaving us a profit of $173. $173. And you know how we do. If we are over that 100 mark, we have done very, very well. So, shout out to Static Rabbit Inc., my boy, for letting me get the hookup on these books. Um, please remember to like and subscribe. Also remember that we do go live three times a week. On Sunday, we go live at 5 p.m., 2 p.m. Pacific for film and box office news. On Mondays, we go live at 8 p.m., 5 p.m. Pacific for new keys and hot comics of the week. And on Wednesdays, we go live at 8 p.m., 5 p.m. Pacific for new comic book day live. So make sure you hit all those like buttons and all those notification buttons. And uh, check out the playlist, tons and tons of videos and content. Hope you guys enjoyed Comic Book Pickups episode number 41. And we will see you later. Peace. Like it's like the brightest day. Where are the heroes?